We can turn the three filters on and off using these green buttons. You can hear the sound get a lot less interesting when they're all turned off. That's because we're just hearing the same thing three times. Let's turn them back on now. The first signal is going to a high pass filter, the second to a band pass filter, and the third to a low pass filter. Now, as I said earlier, these controls may look daunting, but these three strips all feature exactly the same functions, just repeated three times. So once you know one, you know them all. The first knob lets us add LFO into the signal. You can control the LFO over here. I'm going to turn the sync off and lower the frequency a bit, and change the amounts a bit for each filter. Next, we can set the cutoff frequency for each filter. That sounds good. Beside that, we can set the resonance. I turn that way up there. Yeah. Turn this up a bit. Finally, we can adjust the amount we want these knobs to determine how the filter is affected by this filter envelope. I'm just going to bring up the release on this envelope a bit, and then tweak out the knobs in the filter section. That's good. Yep. A little bit more. Here. There we go. That's cool. Now, if you're not sure what A, D, and R are, attack, decay, and release, do try tweaking them out and check out one of our advanced tutorials. We're definitely going to be talking more about this. There's also tons of great info in the Reason Manual. I purposely skipped over one of the most important parts of the alligator, and that's this amp envelope. Every time one of these gates opens, this envelope is triggered. Attack lets us decide how long it takes the signal to reach its full level once the gate is triggered. It's a bit sharp right now, so let's raise this a bit to smooth out the initial gate hit. That's pretty good. As soon as we hear the attack, we can decide how long it stays or sustains by using the decay. Normally, you want to keep this pretty low for quick attacks or hits. I'm going to put it around the middle. Finally, we set the release. This lets us decide how fast the sound fades out after the gate closes. Let's turn that release all the way up, and then the decay up. We pretty much have that pad sound. I'm just going to turn both these back to the middle, or a little left of that. There we go. Sounding pretty good. Move ahead to the next chapter, where we'll be talking about 